Hi there folks, just down on the lake today, uh, Black Dyke, as you can see there, testing out my new GoPro Hero 10 Black, you should notice my videos are much high quality now, got rid of the Acker Zone, uh, had a good day today, it's 4th of September, so it's the first day of the season really here at Black Dyke, first opening day. Uh, it's very warm still, but we've come out today, it's quite busy. I've had two fish on blobs, and I'll show you that in a minute. I had quite a few chasers, follows, been fishing with three flies today and not had very many tangles. All good really. Um, haven't been out fishing since about April. So this is my first video, September 2022. Yeah, just great to be back really, to be honest, and um, encourage you all to go out fishing. Uh, there's a lot of talk at the moment, not a negative talk at the moment with fishing and fisheries and costs and things but if you can get out please get out help your fishery chuck them a day ticket have a bit of fun it's nice to be out on a day like today I've only got my shirt on really my fishing vest and that's it really sunnies and um, yeah had a had a good day so um, just gonna get a coffee now and I'll show you my rigs I've been using a lot of people ask me about my line that I use when um, you see my sort of hat camera footage, see my line, it's actually got black bits in the middle, so it helps me with bite indication. Um, people say, where's got the line? Who makes it? That's me. It's just a white line. It's just a Shakespeare Sigma line. And all I've done here, and the black bits are just Sharpie pen. About seven centimeters of Sharpie black, and then white, and another seven centimeters of black, and so on, first 30 foot of line. It really helps you see the bites, you see, it helps you see the line shoot off the water when you get that bite. So a lot of people ask me about that, I just wanted to show you, it's dead easy to do. This is just Shakespeare Sigma, um, Shakespeare Sigma, the uh, kit that you get, the rod, you get the reel, you get the line, and all I've done is mark it. I've got another one of these with no marked lines, so I managed to add to my box of flies. So these are... These are flies that I've tied myself, so there's buzzers and deal backs in there. Uh, I've been using them today. Um, I've already caught on a few of them previously, but they work well. I like tying them, they're easy to tie. They look natural, they catch well. Um, yeah, can't go wrong really, so I've been adding to this box. Uh, the gaudy box, should we say, with the blobs and the boobies in. Some of the boobies are natural boobies, so that's good. Um, yeah, when, the, when we go in the reservoirs, we'll have some fry feeding fish, I'm sure. Uh, also tried the humongous today uh, on an intermediate line, but they, they weren't interested in that either, sad. Okay, so I'll show you what tactics I've been using today. Um, floating line, really, uh, with sort of six pound fluorocarbon. I've had two flies on, actually I had three flies on most of the day, but had success on two. The only times I've caught are with blobs, so I've got a pink blob. So I had my first fish on this as the point fly, uh, which has got a bead on it. I uh, tried fishing this static with a couple of buzzers underneath as well. They weren't interested in it static at all. Um, as soon as you strip it, as soon as you start to retrieve it, they were chasing it and they were biting it. So I had one fish on this, then I had, um, I had a middle dropper which I took off, and then a top dropper. On the top dropper, I had this one. This is a, a yellow buzzer with an orange bead head. Uh, I had that one, so I had a fish on that as well. Um, so that's what my, both my trout were on. I also had a perch on this one as well, uh, which is a nice little surprise. Uh, but yeah, uh, what I've done is I've done pre-tied rigs at home with three flies on. Uh, this one's got three buzzers on it, 10, 12, and a 14. Uh, what else have I got here? Same as really couple of CDCs on this one for dries so I take that in a little tub like this with all my uh, winders on just to make it quick and easy on the bank really so that's what I've been doing today fishing those that I've made at home uh, and the only success really I've had is on the uh, on the blobs but you know what I was successful so that's okay um, yeah it's literally Fig, figure of eight in it and then the fast figure of eight and then bang I was in so you'll see that hopefully on the camera um, but yeah nice fish a couple pound each really nice fish actually they always are here release them 
Uh, they were hooked squarely in the jaws. Marvellous hooks, nice and easy to remove. Um, yeah, had a perch as well. Uh, I had, I was attacked by a group of sort of perch fry. One of my flies were earlier, that was quite funny. Uh, I've been trying to fish underneath a tree with like a uh, like a beetle, like a foam beetle, a doe back and a buzzer in the hope that it simulates things falling off a tree but the fish weren't biting at all sadly in that area. I was using the shadow of the tree on the water as well, casting into that shadow in the hope that there was fish looking up. Uh, again, nothing yet. I don't think it's a sort of lack of skills for us today. A lot of people have struggled. Um, it's just the fish aren't really in the right kind of mood just yet. All the fish that have been caught today were caught very early on because it was cooler uh, but it has switched off a little bit but it's fun to be out that's the main thing so it's all good i've learned bits and bobs today i've practiced my casting uh, cast into wind so i cast away from the wind and then i'm back cast finally gone quite well. I'm pleasantly surprised with the amount of tangles I haven't had today which I normally do have um, and that's after not fishing for a long time so I'm guessing the skills are sort of embedding by now which is good but I'll um, be interested to hear your thoughts how you're getting on have you been out fishing yet what flies have you been catching on any questions you've got for me please just drop a comment on say hi you know great stuff it's gone all quiet fish jumping all over the place which suggests they're up in the water so I'm using a, a washing line rig so on the point I've got a uh, hopper booby it's a natural looking booby so it holds the flies hopefully in the water uh, I've got a deal back on the middle dropper and a buzzer on the top dropper uh, size 12 and 14 so quite small uh, I've still had no luck I had a couple of follows and maybe a pull but You've still got fish jumping out of the water, um, but not actually taking the flies, which is annoying, but it's nice to see. Um, but yeah, it might still be a little bit too warm just as yet. Um, but hopefully we'll get some more. I'm gonna give it a go for a little while longer, I think. Uh, yeah, as it gets cooler now, we should start to get more and more action, hopefully. So but I was pleased with the fish I've got today. I can have some coffee now really nice the owner of the lake today has put on a bit of a barbecue for us so we had a lovely hot dog and a burger about midday uh, just to sort of say welcome back on opening day which was really really nice of him so I uh, really appreciated that fueled me for the rest of the day uh, plus I've got some snacks and some other drink as well so you've got to keep yourself going haven't you it's up past three now so we'll see what it's like later clouding over now we've got the warmest part of the day out of the way uh, so that's good hopefully it's just nice to be back out it's nice not to be freezing cold and it's nice not to be you know gale force winds a lovely lake very big lake a couple of guys on boats today usually the boats do really well but not today coffee still hot seven hours later thanks Firmus So how you been getting on? Have you been fly fishing recently? Uh, the reservoirs look very, very dry. What's left of the reservoirs, that is. They're all shrinking because of the heat. Um, yeah, a lot of algae around on the reservoirs. A bit of algae here, actually, in the front. But you expect that. Not too much, though. Uh, it's not affected the fishing too much today, thankfully. How's my battery doing? Still got full charge, amazing. <laughs> Love this thing. Another round, yes please. Got steady on with this, I'm driving, so don't go over the limit. It's only coffee, it's all right. Nice to be out of a brand new camera set up. I've spent some time tweaking the camera set up in August. I've bought the GoPro, I've tried to it, 
uh, use it with an external battery, got my tripod set up, everything like that on my camera kit. Been tying some flies, um, you know, doing little bits and bobs to prepare for sort of now onwards, really. Always something you forget, isn't there? But um, yeah, first day back out today. Just a job, that is just a job. So we've got a little buzzer on the top dropper. About four foot under that we've got size 12 deal back. And then I've got the blue daddy long legs, which is simulating these blue damsels that I've seen today. Give it a couple of casts, I think we'll be out of here to be honest. It's getting rather warm now. I was hoping that as the afternoon wore on, it's four o'clock now. It's very sunny as you can see. I was hoping it would cloud over, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. 